perfect. So again, let's go in and discuss another uh, interesting feature in the, in the interactive arrangement. We have the riff fill key, which says fill in, and I can do either after touch or none or fill. Let me tell you what that does. In the riff mode, as we discussed before, we cannot change the chords, but actually we can. We can change the chords if in this particular case, you press the chord and you press in the fill. So for that example, I'm going to pick a style that has a riff. Let's say I go into salsa, okay? I'm going to play a salsa beat real quick, and I believe we turned on the riff mode. Now, the riff is going to be locked into the key of C for this particular example, but when I press any other chord and I press the fill in, I can now change the riff. In other words, play the riff in a new key. So I'm going to pick a piano. I like the octave piano, which is a double. Very nice and neat, huh? You can cheat. Yeah, that's right. And I'm going to play this salsa beat, OK? Take off the jump for this example. Now the riff is in the key of C. Watch this. No response. Uh -huh. So now the riff was playing in the key of A. What did I do? I pressed the fill in key, held it down, and then gave the machine the new key for the riff. Try it again in the key of C first, or let's try the key of G. Now I want to transpose this to the key of E. Fill. D. So that's a very nice, interesting future indeed as well, too. Now we also have for the jazz players the rootless chord recognition. We can also do a bass, bass to root, where in this particular case, the bass is all over the place. I want the bass to play just the root notes. Okay, listen to the difference. The bass goes up and down like a walking, nice walking, walking bass line. Okay. Also, we have some features in there. Very interesting, the swing bass, for example, the jump intro, the lock drum. This allows me to lock either the drum set or lock the bass, so that when I change from one particular style to another, uh, the bass uh, instruments change. Different styles use different drum sets and different bass lines and different uh, uh, instruments. Now, the real truth of the matter is uh, most musicians, when they play on stage, you can do a, a two-hour performance, and you don't see, hardly see a bass player going out and grabbing a different bass uh, when they switch from one uh, song to another. So you might want to lock the drum, for example, you want to lock the bass line, and you can lock the drum and bass or lock the chords uh, when you actually switch over from your one variation to another variation. The nice feature on here, which you see the new multi-tab uh, assignable uh, tabs on the SD5, does a bunch of things. By default, this mode actually allows the machine to turn on and off different drum parts. So. If I went into Latin, for example, and I went into a merengue style, and I want to play this style by itself, I can take out the, the, the kick drum, okay, instantly by pressing kick right there. 